Hi, we get a lot of requests to copy doc configs. This is of course very normal. In some cases, your doc config or your uh, requirements are exactly the same, but it's just another type of document, just a little bit off. So you want to create a new doc config instead of working with alternatives. At this moment, you cannot clone a doc config from the user interface. This will be a feature for our uh, next release. It's on our roadmap. But until that day, you can always write an email to support at pdfbutler.com just to ask us for uh, uh, copying a doc config. The information you must supply in this email is your username. You can find that in the admin tab. So this is the username. And second of all, you have to also supply us the uh, unique document configuration ID. So that's this identifier. You have to copy paste that and put it in the email. Next to that, give us the stage you are working in and from which you want to, to, to copy because that information altogether, yeah, the username, the stage and the unique identifier will have, uh, we have everything you need uh, to actually copy your doc config. Okay. So once we have that, we will uh, use our own uh, systems and our own scripts to copy your uh, document configuration. And when, you, uh, when we return the email, you will get something like this. So a new identifier for the backend systems. Um, this is, of course, a very important one. And you, of course, need to now create your doc config, uh, upload a new doc config with this identifier into Salesforce. Again, send a mail uh, to this email address and you will, uh, uh, we will copy that within 24 hours. Uh, we'll clone your doc config within 24 hours. So we've cloned it. You have, you have gotten a new uh, user identi identifier. So what to do with this identifier. Go to the admin tab, migration, get doc configs and export the doc config we have just uh, cloned for you. In this case, it's the quote. So I export it. It will download a file. You cannot uh, open the file, but you can open the file, of course, in um, any tool like a text editor. It's just a text file. So as you can see here, this file is actually the download that you have got. You can copy this <clears throat> uh, entire uh, piece. So if you want to uh, dig down into this file, that's not a problem. Uh, you will find your uh, the, the, the configuration ID uh, to replace here. But of, of course, you can also copy the entire content and edit it with some kind of a uh, JSON editor. So same thing here, the doc config is here. So what I will do now is uh, copy this doc config, that the new uh, doc config identifier that I've got onto this one. Okay, that's copied. I will, uh, um, I will rename this one. It's cloned by PDF Butler support. Okay, so then I will just uh, make copy everything and put it again in my text file. So save the text file and close it. Next step, eh, just like a migration, you will import this updated uh, file. So I will just gonna drag and drop this file on the upload and then do the import of the doc config. Oh, I have to, I cannot do that it seems. So, okay, and now I'm going to import the doc config. So uh, the lightning uh, uh, UI doesn't work with us here. So if you just click away from it, you will see that it's a successful import. Now, when that is done, go back to your doc configs and you will see the new doc config is there, the cloned one from uh, PDF Butler support. If I open that doc config, and I open PDF Butler, you will see the entire configuration is now cloned. And if I check out my uh, identifier, then this is the new one and this will be the old one. So now the quote and the cloned quote, they live next to each other. That's how easy it can be to clone the configs.